now let us talk about different types of structural isomers. First we come to ionization isomers. Ionization isomers are the coordination complexes which have the same molecular formula but they give different ions when dissolved in water. Like if you talk about like let us say uh, there is an octahedral complex which has the molecular formula that means it has 5 molecules of NH3, 1 chlorine and 1 SO4. So, it says that this complex shows precipitate with BACL2 but does not show any precipitate with AgNO3. Now, it is going to show a precipitate with BACL2 only when SO4 is going to be present outside the coordination complex, right? And it does not show PPT with AgNO3. This means Cl is not present outside the coordination complex. If Cl was present outside the coordination complex, it would have given the precipitate, that is, there would be a Cl negative ion, would have dissociated, and upon reacting with AgNO3, it would have given AgCl's precipitate, which is white in color. But this does not happen. What happens is that the SO4 negative, SO4 2 negative, that ion ionizes and gives precipitate with BaCl2 as BaSO4. So that means this is present outside the coordination complex. So it is an octahedral complex. So that means the coordination number should be 6. So CO, NH3, hole 5, Cl and outside we have SO4. Now, if I say that instead of, one second, instead of showing precipitate with BACL2, this complex shows no precipitate with BACL2, but shows precipitate with AgNO3. This means that this reaction is happening, but this reaction is not happening. If it is not showing any precipitate with BACL2, that means SO4 2 negative is not getting ionized. And if it is showing precipitate with AgNO3, this means Cl negative is getting ionized. So, according to it, the complex should be CO NH3 whole 5 SO4 Cl negative. So, you can see that these both are said to be ionization isomers. There is an exchange of ions present outside the coordination pair and present in inside the coordination pair. So, both of these are going to give different ions when dissolved in water. So, these are ionization isomers, but you can see that the molecular formula is the same. So, this is what ionization isomerism is. Next type of isomerism is linkage isomerism. So, linkage isomers are the compounds which contain ambidentate ligands which show linkage isomerism. So, that is an important thing for linkage isomerism that is if ambidentate ligands should be present. If ambidentate ligands are not present, the complex coordination complex or the coordination compound cannot show linkage isomerism. Now, here NO2 is an ambidentate ligand. So, it can show linkage isomer and its linkage isomer will be CONH3 whole 5 ONO2 positive. Similarly, if we talk about CONH3 whole 5 SCN2 positive, SCN is an ambidented ligand. So, its linkage isomer is going to be CONH3 whole 5 NCS. 2 positive. So, this and this are linkage isomers of each other, this and this are linkage isomer of each other. Remember, these have no correlation with each other, only this and this have correlation with each other and this and this have correlation with each other.